It's brilliant. Really? Amazing work. I just didn't like the cover. I had Jack draw up a new one. You can ink it. Great. How's it received? When it debuts? Overwhelmingly positive, my friend. It was our biggest seller for the month. That's amazing. It is. That's what we're going to call the new title. The Amazing Spider-Man. You see the stuff I come up with? A new title? Yes. Will you draw it? Yes. I have ideas. Of course you do. Have you thought about including the philosophies of Ayn Rand in a comic book? What? You like her books as much as I do. I like the stories, not the philosophies. I said it before and I'll say it again. Readers want drama, action, excitement. They don't want to be preached to. I'm not talking about preaching. I'm talking about entertaining in a new way. Steve, we've got a good thing going here. Now come on. I have a character you need to develop for the first issue. He's called the Chameleon. So it went. Issue after issue. I created new characters. You just give me a sentence like, Spider-Man fights Dr. Octopus. Spider-Man fights the Green Goblin. And I would create an entire issue based on that. Then, after I drew it, you would re Or, how did you put it? You would do your crossword puzzles? I started to realize I'm actually co-writing the stories like Jack was. No, you're not. You draw. You come up with images. I put the words to it. Therefore, I am the writer. Stan, I made these stories up. You have no idea what's going to happen in them. Yes, but I gave you a sentence. Therefore, I am the writer. I design these characters. Make them live. Breathe! Peter Parker? He's me. This is my life. On a world stage! It's my life! Congratulations, you're a hit! <sighs> I have an idea. I love ideas. Is it commercial? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's the idea? A sorcerer. Forget it! Why? A sorcerer? <laughs> Come on, Steve! Look at the picture I drew up. The visual is nice. We have a filler story we need for Strange Tales. Draw them up for that and I'll see what I can do. Okay. Here. That was quick. I'm passionate. Certainly. This story is average at best. But you are going to print it. I'm going to write a letter to Jerry Bales for his fandom club there. I'm going to say, "'Twas Steve's idea, and I figured we'd give him a chance, although, again, we had to rush the first one too much." We should call him something... strange. Mr. Strange? Too close to Mr. Fantastic. Hmm... Doctor Strange. We had a character called Doctor Strange in the comics recently. Hopefully there won't be any confusion. If there is, it's on you. I like the name Doctor Strange. It's great. Yes, I'm sure there will be a movie made about him one day. You haven't spoken to me in a year. I work for a living. So do I. The Marvel offices are too far. What do you want me to do, move them? They're 17 blocks from my studio. Why don't you get some strength from Ayn Rand and walk over? I do. Once a month and drop off my pages. I met her, you know. I can tell. She gave you her sense of humor. Laugh. Go ahead. She changed my life. That's great, Steve. You haven't spoken to me in over a year. That's because you're impossible. You want Spider-Man to have flaws. That was fine while he was in high school, so keep him in high school. No. Then he should be a flawless hero. I'm gonna start drawing him like that. I'll just write him with flaws. Of course. You ignore my art. You change his intent to be something it's not supposed to be. These are comic book characters. No! Spider-Man is Howard Rourke. He's Prometheus. Steve, we are going to increase your page rate by five dollars. I don't want it. You're going to make a ton of money. And watch my characters burn? I raised him. Cared for him. What did you do? 
That's not true. It is. A can only be A. It can never be B. Things can only be what they are. My art is A, and you are B. This is why we don't talk. No, we don't talk because you are trying to sabotage me. I'm not. I heard. I heard you were giving John Romita a tryout. A tryout to take my place. That's a lie. I'm going to quit. Once my mind's made up, it can't be changed. Fine. Do it. I'll have John Romita take your place. I thought you weren't replacing me. I'm not. I'm just being prepared. I won't let you have the satisfaction. I don't want this. One day, I walk into the Marvel offices. We make a brilliant team. I drop off all of my remaining artwork. I thought you were my friend. I told them I resigned. Please don't. I'm never going to draw Doctor Strange or Spider-Man ever again. Steve, think this over. You sabotage me. But it's okay. I'm putting all of this on a shelf. And when the new year comes, it'll just be a memory. No. A happy memory that I can't remember. Reconsider. I'll never work for you again, you old skinflint. You're a tough cookie. Even my ulcers have ulcers. You must be happy. No, Steve. I'm heartbroken. Why would you be? Figure it out. I wish you well. <sighs> so it ends. This chapter of my life. This is a good time to take a break before the rest. Right at the time I left Marvel Comics. Right after I stopped working with Mr. Stan Lee. Because with great power, there must come great responsibility. Remember that. Facts. Fiction. Who created what? Face front, true believers. Judge for yourself. This is like watching the greatest hits of people who are mad at Steve Ditko. They don't understand. They don't. They should read my essays. The ones you self-publish. They explain everything. How I feel. These people are morally wrong, and you are morally right. So you do these publications to show them. It'll explain everything to them. People must know. It's who I am. I'm... I'm one of the many people who show up at your doorstep and knock. I should really take my name out of the phone book. I'm... Whoa! I, I have so many questions! I won't answer any of them. Bye, John. So many try. Later on, even Jonathan Ross and Neil Gaiman show up, and... Hi! 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 I'm Greg. I let in who I can. I have my work to do. You talk to us. You never sign anything, but you give us comics. They're important to share. You let me come over a few times. On one of my last visits, there was a piece of illustration board leaning against the wall, slashed to pieces. I asked if you would turn it over. I gave you a look. I didn't want to. Well, I saw the comics code stamp on it. I didn't think you were going to turn it over. But I did. It was a page of original art from the comic book Journey into Mystery from the late 1950s. Steve! Steve! I will go down to the nearest art supply store and buy you a cutting board that's so smart that when you cut on it, it mends itself. And you'll have the finest cutting board on the block. Nope. Steve, jeez! That's worth a fair amount of money. At the very least. <sighs> Damn, Steve. It's an artifact. It's an important piece of publishing history in terms of comics. Then I pointed and said, lift that curtain up. I did. And there was a stack of original artwork from Marvel, standing vaguely about a foot and a half tall. Can I look at these? No. I was sitting next to artwork that could be worth a hundred, even two hundred grand even. And you were using them as cutting boards. 
I have no attachment to them. My best work is now, not artwork I did 40 years ago. <sighs> I enjoyed our time together. Did that really happen? Greg wrote about it. Who's to say? Nothing written about me over the years may be true. <laughs> not even this play. Your old friend Eric Stanton died in 1999. I always liked him. What about Stan? Stan who? Hi. Mr... Mr. Ditko? My name's Leslie, and... I'm a fan. Why do these people keep showing up at my door? Can you tell me why you left Spider-Man? I'm sorry. No. Damn! So close. I'm leaving. Why? My work here is done. Who will I talk to? Yourself. Using my principles. My theories. My philosophy. I trust you're ready. I'll keep on making Mr. A comics. I know you will. He's moral. Like us. We are. Others aren't. I'll miss our discussions. I will still have them by myself. I'll wrestle over the important issues. Morality will always win. Of course it will. After everything, you will always be John Galt. Always. Go see Stan. Farewell. <sighs> Truth is, I did see Stan again. Marvel Comics reached out to me in late 1991 for a comic book called Ravage 2099. It was a comic book that Stan was going to write. And so, I made my way over to the Marvel offices.